Hey guys! Happy Diwali! And welcome or welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are going to make the yummy gulab jamun cake. If you want to know how this beautiful cake is made, just keep on watching. So let's start! We need to make buttermilk by mixing milk and white vinegar. Let's mix this together until it forms into one mixture and as you notice, it's going to thicken. After that, we're gonna set this aside for 5 minutes to cure some more. While we are waiting for that to cure, let us start with our dry ingredients. So we're gonna get a sieve and then place on our flour, baking powder, salt, baking soda, and then we sift this all together. After that, we are going to mix this mixture so that you'll be able to combine all the ingredients together. And then after that, we're gonna set this aside and then in another bowl, we're going to cream our white sugar and vegetable oil. You can use any vegetable oil that doesn't have any scent. And once it's well combined, let's add vanilla and coconut cream. And then mix this together. And once it's well combined, the mixture will thicken like this. Then we will add our dry ingredients. So I am going to mix it in three parts. I'm alternating dry ingredients and the buttermilk so that you will have a light and fluffy textured cake because when you're going to combine everything in one go, you're going to have a dense cake. So let's just finish this up and then we are going to place this in a pan. By the way, the pan that we are going to be using for this one is a 7 inch round pan. You can also use a 6 inch one. But you will have to adjust with the baking time because it's going to be thicker so you need to extend the time of baking if you're gonna use the 6 inch one. So this is the same cake that I used for the pineapple cake which is also another pretty cake and vegetarian friendly too. I'm gonna put the link up top, check that out. And then we're gonna place this in a 7 inch pan lined with parchment paper then we are going to level out our cakes on the top and we are going to tap this on the counter to take out the air bubbles and bake this at 180 degrees celsius for 35 minutes or you can check with the toothpick if it comes out clean then the cake is cooked now we're going to start our gulab jamun. So I'm using Gitz gulab jamun mix and mixing it with one half cup of milk. So I'm going to mix in the milk a little at a time and make sure that it's well combined with the mix. You can use any mix of your choice. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. Um, it's just this is the only thing that is available in the Philippines as of the moment. Or if you have a trusted recipe that is from scratch, you can go ahead and do that. But the easiest way actually is just to buy it from a Mitai store. So that's the last batch of milk and our dough is coming together. It's gonna be sticky but it's okay, just clean out your hands. And then we are going to finish it with a rubber spatula. And then I'm gonna cover this one up and set this aside for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, our dough would look like this. It would be very manageable and I'm just gonna knead this a little bit and then form this into a ball. And then we are ready to form our gulab jamun. Placing a little ghee on my hands and I'm gonna use one teaspoon to form the ball so it's gonna be a little bit uniform. And um, actually, I'm gonna be making different sizes of it. So here's the process of making perfect cracked free gulab jamun. So you're just gonna press the dough in between your hands and once the ghee comes out then you'll start rolling it into a ball and as you can see this is how it looks like so it's perfectly smooth so let me give you a closer look and then I'm just gonna finish this up and cover this and we are going to start to do the syrup so I'm going to use 2.5 cups of sugar and the same amount of water so 1 is to 1 to make a syrup and then I'm just gonna mix it once the syrup comes out clear then I am going to lower the temperature and keep it boiling and then I'm gonna test it with a spoon and with my fingers if it coats my fingers well and it doesn't feel tacky then we are done I'm just gonna transfer this in a pan where we're going to place our gulab jamuns after they're fried in a pan I'm going to add oil and then 
once the temperature is right, I'm gonna place in our gulab jamuns. I'm not gonna overcrowd the pan and make sure that I'm going to stir it so that the gulab jamuns will just be floating around and you won't have burnt jamuns in the end. So as you can see, they're beautiful light brown color and I'm just gonna drain the oil from it. Then we're gonna place it in our syrup. And as you can see, they look so beautiful. These jamuns will absorb or soak up with the syrup, so they're going to plump up later on. So we're just going to cover this up, and we are going to start with our frosting. So I am using whipping cream, and then I'm going to add one half cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to mix in the powdered sugar with the whipping cream so that it won't go flying when we start whipping it with our hand mixer. So I'm going to start with the hand mixer and then once we are in the middle of whipping it up so it's going to be in the soft peak stage, I am going to get a scraper and scrape the bottoms and the sides to make sure that it's well combined and then I am continuing to whip it until it doubles in size. Then I'm going to add a little yellow food color to add a pop of color on our frosting. And then I'm going to whip it until it's well combined. After that, we are going to set this aside. So let's check our gulab jamuns. They are already very plump. And as you can see, so juicy. I'm going to cut into it. And if you notice how beautiful the insides is, just soak with the syrup. I cut it into different pieces. So this one is for the filling and this one goes on the top and the ones there would go on the center. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to check our cake. So as you can see, I just cool this cake down and then take off the pan, take off the parchment and we are going to cut it into one inch thick. So this is going to be three layers of cake. So our cakes are already sliced and then we are going to start with our assembly. So I'm going to place in the cake and then we are going to add on the syrup. So one fourth cup of water and three tablespoons of the gulab jamun syrup. And then I'm going to place on the frosting. So let's level this out as much as we can. And the frosting wasn't cooperating with me. I don't know why this has happened. <laughs> but I'm trying to make it smooth as I can. So I went on the sides and I tried to level it up. So it will be a little more neater. And then after that, I placed in our gulab jamun bits. I didn't fill it up too much because we are going to place frosting on top of it and it's going to spill out. So I've just placed enough and then added a little bit frosting so that it will stick together and then smooth it out as much as I can. And then the struggle is still real guys. Like it was <laughs> it was not really cooperating with me, but it's okay. Let's continue on. So once it's already leveled, I placed in the second layer of cake and then place the syrup and just do the same process as we did earlier. Let's place the top layer and then scrape the side so we take out the rest of the frosting that was excess. And then I place in the syrup and made a thin coat of frosting for our crumb coat. So as I explained before, this is the thin layer of frosting that would keep the crumbs together so that it won't be mixing or will ruin your final coat of frosting. So let's just smooth this out and level the tops and let's set this at 10 minutes in the fridge. After the 10 minutes mark, we are going to place our icing. So I'm going to place in the icing with the piping method so that our icing would come out leveled and smooth. Now let's level the tops with a spatula. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the top layer would be smooth and leveled out 
And then after that, we are going to smooth out the sides with a scraper. Once the sides is smooth, then I'm going to level out the top and take out the excess frosting. So for this design, it doesn't need to be very smooth. So I directly piped on our frosting. So I'm going to place ruffles like I always love to decorate my cakes with. I'm using an open star tip nozzle so to have a well spaced ruffles you have to do the opposite side all the time and once you have the proper spacing just fill in the gaps so you will have pretty ruffles on top of your cake. So once we are done, we are going to place our half jamoons on top of the frosting. So it's going to look like it's a little nest. I pressed it a little bit. And then as you can see, every time I press the jamoons, the syrup will just ooze out. So that's how juicy it was. For the center part, I placed in the wedges. So I made a thin slices of the gulab jamoons. And then I'm going to make a little rosette in it. So a little flower. And then after that, it would look like this. Then I'm going to place on our piping. So this is a design that is already on trend right now. So the Korean cakes. So I thought of mixing it in so it would look prettier. You can use a small nozzle that has a lot of teeth in it or maybe the reset ones but the thinner ones. After that, I'm using a small round tip nozzle to make this line that connects from the bottom to the top and this will hold the little ribbon. So I used a leaf nozzle for this one. So it looks like that to make a little ribbon. And then I added gold rajis right in the center of it. And after that, I added edible gold foil to give it a little flair and then the final touch would be the chopped pistachio nuts so this will give it crunch and a little texture on our rather a lot smooth and sweet cake so that's about it our cake is done and then we are going to have our taste test time so this is the part where i actually set this cake for overnight and as you can see this is the layers and it's so pretty may this cake fill your homes with joy laughter and sweetness in this diwali happy diwali guys and may everyone enjoy this festive season i'll see you again in our next video bye